Deadly Towers. Protobun Software. Alright. Planning by Lenar. Whoever that is. Let's see what's going on with this game. This is an old, old story from the Stone and Copper Ages when there lived men and devils. As the coming of age ceremony approached, Prince Meyer grew nervous for the day would be a memorable time in which he would succeed to the throne of the Kingdom of Honor. And as worrying about the Kingdom of the Future, he took himself over by the lake near the castle to think, suddenly reflecting on the moonlight, the shadow rose from the lake as the prince stared at it and gradually changed it to a man. Prince Meyer, light of virtue, <laughs> the man's voice rose up. It is time for you to light up the darkness. Rubus, the horrid devil of darkness, is plotting to extend his power over your kingdom. He is viciously scheming to build... Jesus Christ, I can't keep up with the scroll. If you wish to be forever at peace in the kingdom of Lunar, you must journey to the northern mountain and burn down seven bell towers in the devil's castle with sacred flame. Jesus, man, this shit is getting insane. With that, the shadow grew mistier, lost its shape, and finally disappeared, leaving the beautiful lake as though untouched. Could it be an oracle? <laughs> this is literally the most story an NES game has put at the beginning of a game <clears throat> ever. Like, like this is the first time somebody put a freaking novel in front of a game. The king, believing in the truth of the matter, excitedly ordered Prince Meyer to destroy Rubus and all his dark ways. I wonder if this little intro. <laughs> I'm still tired. <laughs> it's gonna be in the wiki. Before I roll out. <coughs> Before I begin playing this game. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of reading. <coughs> or a little bit of skimming. <coughs> Action role playing video game. <coughs> Alright, so we're looking at something like Zelda. Co developed by Lenar and Tamtax for Irem. As a software title for the NES. <coughs> and it was just for the NES. It was released in Japan on December 15, 1986. Alright, and it's a 1987 release. <laughs> in Japan, Deadly Towers was titled Masho. Or Masho, I don't know. Literally meaning Evil Bell. It is a part of the word Masho, meaning devilishness. And in keeping with this theme, the Japanese cartridge. <laughs> the Japanese cartridge contained a red LED light <coughs> to top, which illuminated when turned on. <coughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Hiram intended the game's English language title to be Hell's Bell, <laughs> but Nintendo of America refused to issue the game, and Nintendo said the quality and less broader mind changed the name. <laughs> in North America, it was one of Hiram's first titles on the NES in a long time, Spelunker and Schoon? Schoon? Whatever. On the eve of, oh, this is a plot. <laughs> on the eve of this coronation ceremony, Prince Meyer sits at, the lake, at a lakeside to ponder the future of his kingdom. Suddenly, a shadowy combi called Khan rises from the lake and coalesces into the form of a man. Khan doesn't identify himself, but he greets Prince Meyer by name and informs him that Rubus, the Devil of Darkness, is pre this is everything. <laughs> He's preparing to overtake Wonder Kingdom by using seven magic bells capable of summoning an army of monsters. Uh, to ensure peace, Khan says Prince Meyer must travel to the northern mountain and burn the seven bells in the sacred flame, burn down the seven bell towers in Rubus' magic palace, and ultimately defeat Rubus himself. Lots of shit to do. The game begins outside Rubus' palace, a labyrinth filled with monsters. The player's objective is to kill Rubus. In order to do this, Prince Meyer must first defeat the boss. <laughs> must first defeat the boss in each of the seven bell powers. Collect the seven bells and burn the bells in the sacred flame. Burning the bell also destroys the tower. When Prince Meyer burns all seven bells, a door opens that leads to the final battle with Rubus. Okay, cool. Presented in one point perspective, the non-linear gameplay is comparable to uh, Legend of Zelda. In most rooms of the palace, the screen does not scroll <laughs> outside of the palace. And in the room containing the sacred flame, the room scrolls sideways. In Bell Towers, it scrolls vertically. Alright, cool. It kind of breaks everything there. <laughs> uh, the work of Lenar and Tam uh, Tamtax, the latter being owned by the same company as Irem. Lenar is credited both in the title screen and in the end of the game, while Tamtax is mentioned only in the ending credits. The development team consisted of staff from both companies. <laughs> On Lenar's side, the game was co designed by a former employee from NACO, Junichi Mizutari. Where he worked on the similar to the Tower of Druaga. <laughs> <coughs> Broderbond's relationship with Lenar was facilitated by Scott Samura, uh, who worked for Irem and eventually worked for Broderbond. <laughs> Alright, cool. Uh, legacy and Reception. Uh, while the game was not the subject of much press in its time, it was commercially successful. Alright, cool deal. Uh, let's do the review. Alright, cool deal. Uh, the first real contact I had with Deadly Towers 
was with Sean Baby's list of 20 worst NES games of all time. <laughs> oh great, it made a worst list. My local major video in old rental store in New England before Blockbuster started dominating local markets didn't have a copy when I was younger, a younger man, so I had never heard of it. After reading Sean Baby's scathing review of Deadly Towers, I figured he was exaggerating a bit, but the game couldn't possibly be that bad. <coughs> he was 100% correct. It's one of the absolute worst games ever released. It belongs in the trash bin with the other NES games such as Heroes of the Lance, Axe 52, and the King of All Crap games, Hide Lied. Deadly Towers manages to be titanically bad on almost every level. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait to play this game. Uh, one point, a uh, one out of ten, pretty much. One, a uh, point five out of five. <laughs> All right, let's try this out. Here, just a second. When we read a manual, there's 19 pages to this manual. Let's see. Controls, controls. I'll, I'll learn those. How to understand the screen. Maximum hit points up in the top right, the center somewhere. <laughs> Entrance to the next area. If you enter this area, the screen will change to the next scene. The jagged edges are cliffs. The main adventure screen. The current hit points. This is your life power. There's the shop screen. All right, cool deal. Uh, the sub screen. Status, items, bell, defense, attack. Cool deal. Seven bells echo throughout the Magic Palace. Rubus's Magic Palace is located in the northern mountains of the Wilder Kingdom. This is an old diagram of the palace, however, the resonance of the seven bells created many distorted spaces which became which became the invisible entrances to underground dungeons, <laughs> secret rooms in a parallel world. Cool, alright. Excuse me. Burn down the seven bells. <coughs> Bridge my as well. When you're attacked by an enemy you touch it or if you touch an enemy, the player's hit points will degrees. Awesome. Collecting hit points and money. When you kill enemies, sometimes they leave money in your hearts, just like Zub. About your items. An item can be picked up while wandering, can be bought at shops, which are in certain areas. Enhancing your defenses when you start, you don't have any armor or <coughs> special items, wear items as soon as you get them. To do this, increase and to enhance your attack, you know, increase the power and speed of your sword. Use caution in the parallel world. Sometimes an invisible entrance will take you to a parallel world. There will be only one exit to the world you came from. Search all areas of the castle carefully to find the parallel worlds. Big underground dungeons, <coughs> secret rooms hidden throughout the towers of the castle, get the bells, blah blah blah. Attack items. Alright, you got a normal sword, dragon slayer, short sword glove, normal glove, gauntlet, splendor. This is the golden sword of legend. Alright, every game has a sword of legend. Uh, increasing your skills, uh, double shot allows you to shoot two swords, parallel shots. Hey, right, ooh, letter. When you kill enemies, they leave money. Awesome. Uh, it's uh whatever chain helmet iron helmet hyper <laughs> helmet shield lion shield shield of the king the most powerful shield is guarded by the holy by holy power and it shines <laughs> golden leather armor plate armor hyper armor crystals blue green orange red damn there's a lot of items to this game necklaces jesus christ <laughs> drinks magic key fire magic magic maze hyper boots figure chalice jeez Evil shield, evil bill, enemy characters, unknown races, bounder, bounder tower, fire races, fire, spark, fog. Do not underestimate these enemies because of their size. Slime races, slime, crud, crawler, anomaly, rat races, rat, fast rat, <laughs> devil races, small devil, pixie, black box, black box. Just will appear in front of an entrance and block the way it could appear. Oh, whatever. Fish race, wallfish, insect races. <laughs> There was some fucking world building going on over the powerful tower. Death Bear is the boss. The king of the devil's Rubus. <laughs> Helpful tips. Don't let the circle of hearts get away. Useless shots may lead you to death. Don't let the chance go when you hit the monster. Understanding the movement of the enemies. Utilize the direction of movement about parallel worlds. Draw a map. <coughs> Running around on it. Oh, cool. It tells you how to draw maps. And shit. Awesome. <laughs> no. No, uh, no memo, no 15 memo pages. Awesome, this game must be fucking sweet. Let's roll up here to this badass instruction manual cover. Let's get this fucking game going. We gonna whoop this game's ass. Let's go print some iron. <laughs> oh, password check, huh? What is this shit? I don't know what the hell. Oh, that must be... <coughs> you throw swords. Alright, you can throw a sword. Okay, I'm moving around, moving around, moving around. Nope, can't do shit there. Interesting, oh shit, that's a fireball. 
so it takes four four shots to kill that thing. Sweet. Oh shit. <coughs> Mash that quick save button. We getting L's, l l whatever the fuck it was called. All right, so can't go in there. Can't go in there. What well, the enemies? Oh, you could walk in a sweet diagonal. Cool, that's awesome. I'm wearing a little <coughs> horn helmet. Got my little backpack. I'm so cute. Oh shit, you could throw the damn swords and. Oh shit. No fucking way. I just got knocked off the ledge. I ain't, I ain't going out like a bitch. I ain't going out like it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude, die! Fucking slimes take some hits, boy. Oh shit, what the fuck? What the fuck was that even? <laughs> oh shit. What? Damn, dude. There is shit just flying all around this game. What in the fuck? Oh my god. This game is shit. Oh my god. Let's see. Alright. Dude, the slimes are legit. Damn. <laughs> there will be no reprieve. Oh, there's no pause button. There's a pause button. <laughs> I've got nothing. This game said you got nothing, boy. Fucking fireballs just out of fucking nowhere? Oh, shit. There's a heart container. I think. Yep, that, that improved my overall health. Now we need to fucking find hearts to heal. But we won't find hearts to heal. Because this game does not... Oh yeah, we don't free this dude in the place. <coughs> that does not hearts to heal, sir. This fucking bats are useless. Those bats are useless as shit, son. What is this thing flying around? I don't know. But you can hit shit and it freezes. So that's great. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> slimes are so tough. But at least you can uh you can move while you're attacking. All right, I got some HP back. That's sweet. You could fall off ledges. So, what the fuckity of all fucks? <coughs> Dude! <coughs> I have to be retarded. Fuck you, huh? You ain't going nowhere, Snick. <coughs> Don't step on Snick, huh? Bet you can't kill. Oh, you can't kill it. All right, cool. What is this maze shit? Yeah, you can get in a good position. <coughs> Spam the old attack button. Of course, you can't reach that. Developers probably didn't think of that bullshit, did they? Oh, 
feel like attacking in the diagonal is cool, but it's very difficult. Which it shouldn't, which in my mind is difficult, but it actually is very simplified because you just, bam, I'm already shooting diagonal. <coughs> it doesn't even return to form. What's up, bitches hurt? Dude, them things fucking hurt. They break my shit. Fucking score pines. <coughs> oh, you get up on them, son. Get that damn shit. Oh, sons of bitches. Y'all yeah. <coughs> can't hang. Y'all can't do shit to me. Y'all suck. Oh, that's bad, ya. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> hidden, hidden rooms or whatever the fuck they was talking about in the instruction manual. Oh shit, Craig. Shit, son, I took a fucking hit to the balls on that one. What in the fuck? Oh my god, okay, alright, that's enough of this shit. Dude, this game. <coughs> There's some potential here, but all in all, the overall problem with the game, can't find yourself a way around. Like, like, it's damn near impossible to find your way around in this shit. It's just impossible to navigate. Uh, let's see. Your life is kept as a number at the top of the screen. Enemy attacks drain much more life than they should. Damn right. Shit was doing like 40, 40 damage. <laughs> it only takes roughly 782 sword thrusts to defeat anything tougher than a blob. <laughs> Hell, it takes that many to kill the damn blob. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, this game is, yeah, I'd say a, a 2 out of 10. <laughs> what a piece of dog shit. Anyway. You like the video? Hit like, hit subscribe, share it with your people. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.